Hi, I'm Tim Young, Corporate Director of the Wisconsin Rapids Community Theater. Please enjoy WRCT Salutes Laughing, a Silver Foxes production, written and directed by Ellen Raisler, recorded and edited by our friends at the Wisconsin Rapids Community Media, and sponsored by our very good friends at Solaris. Now keep in mind, this show was put together in about three weeks, from building and painting the set, casting the characters, and doing all the filming. This was put together in about three weeks with no rehearsals. Yes, you heard me correctly. There were zero rehearsals in an effort to keep the most safe environment for our participants and crew of the show. So please, at this time, enjoy WRCT's Salutes Laughing, a Silver Foxes production. Welcome to WRCT Salutes Laughing, featuring the WRCT Silver Foxes, Kim Kelton, Jeff Friday, Vito Giardino, Lucy Rose Giles, Joanne Joseph, Lucy Ronells, Diane Wenzel, Penny Weiss, and Tim Young with special guests, Anne Bledsoe, Susan Edgar, Linda Garski, Keith Hetzel, Sam Runnels, Dave Skiba, and Chris Williams. I am your announcer, Dick Antononi. WRCT Salutes Laughing is sponsored by Solaris. And now, with a much ado as possible, here are your hosts, Tim Young and Jeff Friday. Welcome to the show. Tonight's theme is all about getting older. <laughs> Who's getting older? Not me. Well, you're not getting any younger, are you? Why? Who have you been talking to? Don't be ridiculous. We're paying homage to Father Time. Homage? Is that that funny European currency? What's the exchange rate on that now? Stick to the subject. Tonight's program is all about getting older. Well, that should pretty much cover all of us. Well, we want to appeal to the largest uh, market we can. Why? What are we selling? Fun. And we're giving it away. Well, the price is right. Count me in. When do we start? Well, we start right now. You're all invited to a party. I'll drink to that. <laughs> was a very tough woman. She buried three husbands, and two of them were only napping. A stockbroker urged me to buy stock that tripled in value every year. I said, hey, I don't even buy green bananas. process if we made it make its way through Congress. I called the incontinence hotline and they told me to hold. People ask me what I'd most appreciate for my 87th birthday. I tell them a paternity suit. I've learned that life is like a roll of toilet paper. The closer you get to the end, the faster it goes. I asked my
my 91-year-old father. Dad, what were your good old days? Well, he said that when I wasn't old and I wasn't good. here often. Oh, my little lovely chiller. Would you like a warm head on? Very interesting. You know you're old when your idea of lifting weights is standing up. After retiring, Kent went to the local office to apply for Social Security. The clerk asked him for his driver's license to verify his age. After checking his pockets, Kent realized he left his wallet at home. He told the woman he was very sorry, but wasn't there something she could do so he wouldn't have to go home and come back later? The clerk said, unbutton your shirt. So he opened his shirt, revealing curly silver hair. The clerk said, well, that silver hair is proof enough for me and processed his social security application. When Ken got home, he excitedly told his wife about what happened at the social security office. His wife said, you should have taken off the rest of your clothes. From what I see, you should have gotten disability too. <laughs> Look it up in your funk and wagner mind leaves. Careful, careful, you're cooking too many eggs at once. You need more butter, you need more butter. Be careful, you're gonna break them. <laughs> they're gonna burn, they're gonna burn. Oh, you need some salt, you need some salt. You never listen to me while you're cooking eggs. What in the world is wrong with you? You think I don't know how to fry a couple of eggs? I just wanted to show you what it feels like when I'm driving. My name is Edith Ann, and I'm five and a half years old. My mom said I was naughty today, but it wasn't my fault. Billy is a dumb old boy, and he deserved to be tied to that tree. <laughs> what a party, baby. Anyway, I had to sit in a corner for a whole hour and think about what I've learned. Well, it only took me five minutes to learn that I should use a gag next time I tie Billy to the tree. <laughs> so the rest of the time, I stopped to think about all the other things I've learned. In case there's a test, and here are the top 10. No matter how hard you try, you can't baptize a cat. When your mom is mad at your dad, don't let her brush your hair. If your sister or Billy hits you, don't hit her back. The second person always gets caught. And remember the gag thing? Never ask your three-year-old brother to hold a tomato. Uh, you can't trust dogs to watch your food. When, don't sneeze when someone is cutting your hair. Never hold a dustbuster and a cat at the same time. You can't hide a piece of broccoli in your milk. Don't wear polka dot shorts, or polka dot underwear under your shorts. Not underwear under your shorts. And last, the best place to be when you're sad, it's on your grandpa's lap. And that's the truth. You know you're getting old when you feel like the morning after, but you haven't been anywhere. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? 
A little old lady. A little old lady who? All this time and I didn't know you could yodel. Ugh. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Cash. Cash who? No thank you, I'll have some peanuts instead. You rip these jeans, you're gonna pay for them. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Ivan. Ivan who? I want you to stop these stupid knock, knock jokes. <laughs> straighten out the wrinkles on your socks, and you discover you aren't wearing any. An elderly man goes to the doctor and tells him that he hasn't been feeling well. The doctor examines him, leaves the room, and comes back with three different pill bottles. The doctor says, take the green pill with a big glass of water when you get up. Take the blue pill with a big glass of water after lunch. Then, just before going to bed, take the red pill with another big glass of water. Startled to be put on so much medicine, the elder man stammers. My goodness, Doc, what's my problem? The doctor says, you're not drinking enough water. <laughs> so, last night we went out to a new restaurant. It was, it was really good. I highly recommend it. Well, what is the name of the restaurant? What's the name of that uh, flower, you know, the one you give somebody when you're in love, it's red, it's got all the thorns? A rose. You mean a rose? That's the one. That's the one. Hey, Rose, what was the name of that restaurant we went to last night? <laughs> I thought I'd let my doctors check me because I didn't feel quite right. All those aches and pains annoyed me and I couldn't sleep at night. He could find no real disorder, but he wouldn't let it rest. What with Medicare and Blue Cross, we would do a couple tests. To the hospital he sent me, though I didn't feel that bad, he arranged for them to give me every test that could be had. I was fluoroscoped and cystoscoped, my aging frame displayed, stripped on a nice cold table while my gizzards wear x-rayed. I was checked for worms and parasites, for fungus and the crud, while they pierced me with long needles, taking samples of my blood. Doctors came to check me over, probed and pushed and poked around, and to make sure I was living, they then wired me for sound. They have finally concluded their results have filled the page. What I have will someday kill me. My affliction is old age. <laughs> I just need a nap. You know you're old when everything hurts. And what doesn't hurt doesn't work. What's the matter with you? I just saw Mrs. Terry running hysterically after leaving your exam room. The woman's 73 years old, has four grown children and seven grandchildren. And you told her she was pregnant? Does she still have hiccups? <laughs> My arm is so weak, I can hardly hold this cup. Yeah, I know. My cataracts are so bad, I can't see to pour the coffee. I can't turn my head because of this arthritis in my neck. My blood pressure pills make me so dizzy. I guess that's the price we pay for growing old. Well, it's not all that bad. We should be thankful we can still drive. <laughs>
you busy tonight? Are you busy tomorrow night? Oh, Are you busy next Tuesday night? God, grant me the senility to forget the people that I can't stand, the good fortune to remember those that I do, and the eyesight to know the difference. I just turned 80 and married my fourth husband. He was a funeral director. People ask me, why did you get married again in your 80s? Well, I'll tell you, in my 20s, I married a banker. In my 40s, I married a circus, circus ringmaster. And in my 60s, I married a preacher. And in my 80s, I married a funeral director. I had to. Don't you see? <laughs> One for the money, two for the show, three to get ready, and four to go. You bet your sweet bippy. He is a bippy anyway. Exercise of the brain is important. As we grow older, it is important that we keep mentally alert. You lose it or use it is particularly applies to the brain. So here's a way to gauge your loss or non-loss of intelligence. Take the following test to determine if you are uh, losing it or if you are still left with it. Now, relax, relax, clear your mind. Question number one, what do you put in it? <laughs> the answer is bread. If you said toast, then give up now and go to something else. And try not to hurt yourself while you're doing it. Question number two. Say silk five times. Silk, 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 silk. 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 Now spell silk. S-I-L-K. What do cows drink? Milk. <laughs> cows drink water. Oh. If you said milk, Please do not attempt the next question. Your brain is obviously overstressed and may even overheat. Now, try to stay with me. Question number three. About 40 years ago, a plane is flying at about 20,000 feet over Germany. Now, if you'll remember at that time, Germany was politically divided into West Germany and East Germany. Anyway, during the flight, uh, two of the engines um, failed. And the pilot, realizing that the last engine is failing also, decides on a crash landing procedure. Unfortunately, the plane's last engine fails before he has time, and the plane fatally crashes smack dab in the middle of no man's land between West Germany and East Germany. Where would you bury the survivors? Hmm. You don't, of course, bury survivors. <laughs> Question number four. You are driving a casino bus from Milwaukee to Nakusa. In Milwaukee, 17 people get on the bus. And in Madison, six people get on the bus and four get off. In Portage, 10 get on. Three people get off the bus. In Plainfield, six people get on and four people get off. And then you arrive at Nakusa. 
who was driving the bus. What? What do you mean you don't remember? For crying out loud, it was you! <laughs> Very interesting, but inaccurate. The casino bus doesn't stop in Plainfield, does it, Lucy? <laughs> <laughs> And now it's time once again for the Flying Fickle Finger of Fate Award. And for the first time in the history of Laughin, we're taking back an award. No. Can we do that? Not normally. But in this case, we feel it's better if we do. Do tell. As you know, the original Laughin poked fun at national and foreign politics, civil rights, and anyone from big celebrities to the mayor of Burbank, California. Nowadays, well, let's just say we, we become more of a sensitive nation. Well, I'm re really a sensitive guy once you get to know me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, last year we searched for someone to receive this prestigious award who would not be able to turn around and sue us. Basically because we don't have any money. That too. <laughs> but we really didn't have to look far. We thought 2019 saw some of the worst weather in history, typhoons in Japan, monsoons in China, blizzards, tornadoes, and locally, Wisconsin's very first microburst affected 150 square miles, flattening thousands of trees and leaving thousands of people without power. Wow, I'd almost forgotten about that. So much has happened since then. I'll bet I can tell you who got the uh, Daring, delightful digit that time. Well, you should remember. Mm -hmm. The Weather Channel for giving us too much bad news. No, Jeff, you don't shoot the piano player. <laughs> what are you talking about? For unprecedented disasters on a worldwide scale, 2019's recipient of the Flying Fickle Finger of Fate Award was Mother Nature. Oh, no. Yep, and, and as we quickly found out, not nice to fool Mother Nature. Who knew she couldn't take a joke? We really stepped in it this time. Yes, we did. So Mother Nature, we take it back. We humbly apologize, ask your forgiveness, and assure you it will never, never happen again. And if there's anything that I can do personally, Please let me know. I guess you gave us the finger that time. <laughs> Very interesting. But I still can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> One ringy dingy, two ringy dingy. And a gracious good afternoon to you, sir. This is Ernestine from the Medicare Advantage Hotline calling. Is this Mr. Namath? It is. Oh, Joe. May I call you Joe? It's been so long. I you probably won't remember. But I met you in Milwaukee. In September 1973, the Packers almost shot you out that night, Joe. But you scored big with me, snort, snort. <laughs> you don't remember? Why, the score was 23 to 7. Joe, write it down for the next time. Well, anyway, I'm calling to tell you we haven't received last month's premium for your Medicare Advantage plan. Unless we receive your payment in the next five days, your coverage will be canceled. Commercials and all, <laughs> or not. Oh, Joe. We've had this discussion before. You know that old you may be eligible for a $0 premiums line 
is just a bunch of crap. The only time you don't have to pay a premium is when you're on life support and your wife's finger's on the switch. <laughs> snort, snort. <laughs> pay the premium, Joe, or I'll send my boyfriend Vito down there to collect. Vito hasn't got forgotten 73, Joe. He's had plenty of time on his hands now, and he may be old, but he can still block and tackle with the best of them. Just pay up, Joe, and I won't tell him about that forward pass in Milwaukee. Joe! Joe! We must have been cut off. Oh well. One ringy dingy, two ringy dingy. Well, folks, that's the end of part one of WRCT's Salute to Laugh In. You mean there's more? Oh, yes. We had so much fun, we had to split it into two parts. Well, I guess if it's okay with them, <laughs> it's okay with me. Say good night, Dick. Who's Dick? He's our announcer. And a fine announcer he is. Good night, Dick. Good night, Jeffy. He is so old. How old is he? He is so old that when he was in school, there was no history class. He's so old, his social security number is one. He's so old, he has Adam and Eve's autograph. He's so old that he walked into an antique store and they kept him. He's so old that when God said, let there be light, he was there to flip the switch.